Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss kinetics of polycondensation reaction. Now, for polycondensation reaction, as we know, that polycondensation reactions are the joint polymerization of several molecules, uh, which are accompanied by the elimination of several byproducts or several simple byproducts like we have water alcohol ammonia or any acid and the elementary composition of the repeating unit as we have seen in case of ionic polymerization or in case of chain polymerization the elementary composition does not remain same that is the elementary composition also changes that is when polycondensation or when polycondensation polymerization takes place then at that time new functional groups are formed and the simplest example that we are studying since class say 10th is the polymerization or the formation of nylon 66 so nylon 66 basically it is a polycondensation reaction wherein hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid they react to give or to form an amide linkage that is CONH linkage and as a result it results in the formation of nylon 66 and the water is the byproduct formed so this is the simplest simplest definition of polycondensation and uh, uh, today we are going to discuss the kinetics of polycondensation reaction and the general polycondensation reaction uh, can be written as suppose we have N x r x so these are our x are the functional groups and similarly n y r dash y so y are also our functional groups so they react to give x and we have r z r dash y plus 2n minus 1 a so over here uh, Z is the new functional group formed because of the reaction between X and Y and A is our byproduct. Now the polycondensation reaction can be carried out either by using catalyst or in absence of catalyst also. So in both the cases the kinetics will be different and hence we will discuss both the kinetics differently. So first suppose if we consider that we are performing a non catalytic polycondensation so for non catalytic polycondensation reaction suppose we consider the reaction between any dicarboxylic acid and diol so for preferably it will be an esterification reaction or we can say polyesterification reaction and for polyesterification reaction we know that these are the two functional groups and for polycondensation uh, for non catalytic polycondensation reaction the rate that is the rate of formation uh, i can write it as uh, oh upon dt that is the rate i can write it as it is square proportional or it is second order with respect to the acid concentration and it is first order with respect to the alcohol concentration over here k is our esterification constant and suppose if we consider that we are taking equimolar amount of the acid as well as di uh, diol then uh, at any time t if we consider that the c is the concentration of our starting materials then we can write minus dc upon dt is equal to k into i can directly write it as cq further i can rearrange this relationship and integrate it so we will have minus integration of dc upon c cube is equal to integration of k dt and integration of this will be minus 1 upon c square so minus minus oh sorry minus 1 upon 2 c square and minus minus it will become plus so so I will be having a uh, minus 1 upon 2 c square is equal to kt plus c is our integration constant okay and further we can rearrange this relationship in the form of kt and 2 I can take it into multiplication so we will have 2 kt is equal to 1 upon c square minus constant 
okay now in order to find the value of c what will be the concentration uh, suppose if we consider that c0 is the initial concentration of the functional groups that we have taken okay and c is the uh, and c is our concentration at any time t and suppose if we consider that p is the amount or it is the fraction of the polymerization or p is the fraction of the functional groups that have undergone esterification reaction so p is nothing but it we can say it is it is amount of polymerization also or it is the amount of functional groups that have undergone esterification reaction then the extent of esterification reaction okay that is extent we can write it as we have c0 minus c upon c0 will be equal to p so this will give us the extent of polymerization okay because c0 minus c or c is at time t so c0 minus c will give us the amount of the unreacted and unreacted divided by our initial concentration will give us how much functional groups are reacted okay now we can just simplify this particular relationship and when we will simplify this relationship uh, we will get C C is equal to C zero into one minus P. We will get this representation because this will become one, and this uh, we can have C zero upon C upon C zero. So we can take this that side, and P will come this side. So it will become one minus P, and then C C zero is in the denominator, so it can come in on the right hand side, and hence we will have C is equal to C zero into one minus. P. So this will be our concentration with respect to the initial concentration. And one more thing that is for polycondensation reaction, the degree of polymerization is nothing but it is equal to the initial concentration divided by the concentration at time t. So this is the Re, uh, relationship for degree of polymerization for polycondensation reaction that is degree of polymerization is the ratio of initial concentration to the concentration at time or concentration of the functional group at time t so this i can write it as c0 is our initial concentration and c is at any time t so we have the value of c so we can substitute it c0 into 1 minus p and hence we will have 1 upon 1 minus p so the degree of polymerization is nothing but it is the inversely proportional to the extent of polymerization okay now moving back to our relationship we got the value of c so we can substitute this uh, value of c in this particular relationship uh, so we can write 2 kt is equal to 1 upon c0 square into 1 minus p square minus any constant and further uh, we can rearrange or we can take this c0 on right hand side and this constant that side so we will have 1 upon 1 minus p square is equal to c0 square or 2 c0 square kt minus or it will become plus any constant and we know that as we have seen over here that 1 minus 1 upon 1 minus p is nothing but it is equal to our degree of polymerization so we can write x bar n square is equal to 2 c0 square kt plus constant and hence this is our kinetics or uh, for non-catalyzed polycondensation reaction so uh, the degree of polymerization is directly proportional to the square of the initial concentration of the monomers that we are taking. Moving on to the polycondensation via acid catalyst, acid catalyzed polycondensation reaction. So again we are considering the same example that is polyesterification reaction of uh, diacid and di diols and for acid catalyzed reaction the rate that is i can write it as dc upon dt it is first order or we can say k is our esterification constant and it is 
first order with respect to the concentration of acid as well as it is first order with respect to the concentration of the uh, diol also okay so we already know both we are taking equimolar so we can write it as c and we have minus dc upon dt that is equal to k into c square now further we can rearrange this particular relationship and we can write it in the form of c0 so minus integration dc upon c square is equal to k integration dt okay we can integrate it and this will become 1 upon c is equal to we have kt and plus any constant and in order to find the value of constant we know constants are always calculated at initial conditions so at time t is equal to 0 our concentration c will be equal to c0 so when we substitute c is equal to c0 over here this will become 0 and hence our constant will become 1 upon c0 so we can substitute our constant here so we will have c is equal to kt plus 1 upon c0 further we can rearrange this particular relationship and hence we will have kt is equal to 1 upon c minus 1 upon c0 we can substitute the value of c as we have seen in earlier case and it is c0 into 1 minus p minus 1 upon c0 so for both this we can take c0 common out and it can be or it can be taken on this side so we'll have c0 into kt is equal to 1 upon 1 minus p minus 1 we can further rearrange this and we'll have 1 upon 1 minus p is equal to c0 into kt plus 1 and we know that 1 upon 1 minus p is nothing but it is number average degree of polymerization so by knowing the value of specific rate constant and the initial concentration at any time t we can easily calculate the degree of polymerization and if the extent of polymerization is equal to 1 that is if this is equal to 1 then 1 minus 1 is 0 and something upon 0 is infinity so the degree of polymerization is infinity or we will get very very high molecular weight polymer and the reaction will go to 100 percent completion so this is theoretical but actually it is not observed in case of polycondensation reaction because of the formation or because of the equilibrium condition between the reacting species and the product that is formed so for acid catalyst reaction and uh, the degree of polymerization is directly proportional to the concentration and it is direct or it is uh, first order with respect to the initial concentration and with respect to the time also so in case of acid catalyst polycondensation reaction the molecular weight of the polymer will build up faster as compared to the non catalyzed polycondensation reaction so this is our kinetics in case of acid catalyst and we have seen in case of non-acid catalyst also hope the lecture is clear thank you very much